Hey there, I am here to show you how to do the visual tool for text features. Now, I did not read you this entire book. It's called Math in Nature because it's really, really long and it's, well, not really long, but it's just, it's a book that you need to kind of look through and read when you want to. Read a page here, read a page there. Um, it's really neat though because it's about all the all the different things you can see in nature that demonstrate our math principles so i have this book and um your teacher might have this book too um, so if your teacher doesn't have this book though you can ask to borrow it from me and i'll let you borrow it and you can look at it but i chose a page from this book to show you how to do the text features visual tool because i thought it was a really good one because when we think about text features, we think about all of the things on the page besides just the text. So this book has tons of text features in it. When you look through it, there's so many on every page. There's all kinds of text features. So I found one that I thought was really neat on a page called Mirror Image. So I wanted to look, and I'm going to have to zoom in first because, again, you know, when you can't see something on the page, all you have to do is zoom in. That's the best thing about technology, right? So I'm going to zoom in on this, the caption for this picture right here, because we're just going to do this visual tool for one text feature. There's two text features on this page. There's one here and there's one here with this fly, but I want to do the big zebra one. Okay, so I'm going to look at that right there and it says a zebra's head is symmetrical with one ear, one eye, and one nostril on each side. So I've learned that... Um, from the text feature, I have learned something. So I'm going to write that on this side. That was just what I got from the text feature. So I'm going to type in here, a zebra has one ear, one eye, and one nostril on each side of the head. Okay? So it is symmetrical. I think I'm going to add that too. So it is symmetrical. But I looked at this text feature first, right? I, and that's what you do when you read nonfiction. You don't always look at the text first. Sometimes you look at the other interesting things on the page first. In a, in a fiction book, you usually just read everything in order, right? But in nonfiction, we don't do that. Now, I couldn't get the text boxes to make a triangle for our graphics funnel, so we're just going to have to go with it like this. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but we're just going to put that text right there because we have a little graphics funnel. Okay, we're going to do something with this box down here. But for this side, so we're going to put the text feature information right here. For this side, I'm going to go and read this text and I'm going to find anything that's related to this and put it in here. Okay, so I got to zoom in again because I can't read it from here. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to find this one, one thing right here. So it says, if an object is symmetrical, it means that some of its parts are shaped exactly like the others. Okay. Hmm. Not sure that's related yet. The simplest type of symmetry is called reflection symmetry or bilateral symmetry. All right. I'm still not sure. And an object with this kind of symmetry, you can draw a line down the middle of it. Okay. So when I think about that zebra and I think, okay, he's got one eye one ear, one nostril on either side of its head, then a bi he's got bilateral symmetry, right? So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to leave it zoomed in to my graphics funnel, and I'm going to write that I learned bilateral symmetry means that you can draw a line down the center. Whoops and the two sides will be okay i might have to i might have some more information so i'm going to go back over here to the text this is a great way to take notes i'm going to read a little more okay the halves on each side will be mirror image, images of each other with a dog you could draw a line down its back from its nose to the tip of its tail each half would be perfect reflection of the other Okay, I think I might add that. Each half, oh, I think I said that, and the two sides will be the same. Maybe I should change it to a perfect reflection. 
I'm going to do that. A perfect reflection of the other. That's the best thing about our visual tools is you can make them fit your thinking, right? And I think I'm going to make this font just a little bit smaller because it doesn't fit up there. So look, I'm just going to go down here, decrease the font size. Magic, it fits. Okay, so back to my um, visual tool here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see that it's still here. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in because I want us to really be able to focus on what we're doing here with the visual tool. Okay. So now we've got the information from the text feature on this side and we have information from the text on this side. So we're going to put it together down here in one sentence. Okay. So I just want to think about these two sentences for just a minute. A zebra has one ear, one eye, and one nostril on each side of its head. So it is symmetrical. Right. I learned that it has what kind of symmetry? Bilateral symmetry. And so both sides of its body, or actually both sides of its head, will be the same, a perfect reflection, right? So I think I'm going to put that in my sentence down here at the bottom. A zebra has bilateral symmetry. And then we'll say it has one ear, one eye, and one nostril on each side of its head. Since its head is symmetrical, the other side will be a perfect reflection of this side. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to select that and make that font just a little bit, whoops, a little bit uh, smaller too, so it will fit right in my box. It doesn't have to. Um, if you see, if you get it like that, it's just fine as long as I can see your information there. So what I did was I went to the text. Let me zoom out. Okay, went to the text. I found which text feature I found the most interesting. It was this one about the zebra. Could have used the fly too, okay? In fact, if you want to come back in here and do this one, I'm gonna, uh, you can, and you can use the fly. And I wrote down all the information that, was, that I could find from that text feature on this side of my graphics funnel. Then I went and read the paragraph, and I found anything that was related to that, and I put it on this side of the graphics funnel. And then I read those two pieces of information and I wrote a couple of sentences down here at the bottom to kind of summarize what I learned from reading the, about the zebra. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys do. Work really hard. This is a great way to think about nonfiction because when we read nonfiction, we really need to pay attention to the text features on the page and what the text says. Sometimes I get involved in one or the other, and you really need to think about both. All right, see you later.